Hi, this is Caleb representing the Duchess of Blades. I've decided that naming myself the Duchess of Blades is probably too weird for most people and that most people will not get the video game reference anyways. And I am making a video record of the stamps that are on these stones in front of us before I start using them and erasing them away. Now before anything, I am fully aware of the train of thought that stamps could mean absolutely nothing. From what I've read, there was a tendency for some customers to believe that if a stone had some special stamp on them, it meant the stone was of higher quality or performance, when at the end of the day, anybody could use any stamp on any stone they want. Now despite that, um, well firstly, I don't know if they're important or not, so it can't hurt to make a quick video about them, right? And secondly, I guess it's because I know so little about these stones that I need something, anything, even if it's superficial, to help me get a sense of um, identity about these stones. I bought these stones for use, obviously. Each stone has a function. But on top of that, I would like to believe they have an identity and history. So in that regard, a stamp absolutely helps. So with that out of the way, let's start with this one, which has the most particularities. Um, firstly, um, this is actually a stamp and not a label. You see this line around it, which makes it sort of look like uh, some sort of uh, transparent label, when in fact it's a stamp. If you look at this image that is on the seller's site, there, there was the... Uh, the, the stamp that you just saw and also a number stamp which mine no longer has what happened was um i was not happy with the way the stone was sealed so i peeled it off not realizing that peeling the existing seal off would also peel off the stamp so what i did was i cut around the stamp and then i removed this old sealant away before i sealed everything with my own sealant so that's what happened also, um, I accidentally rubbed off a stamp. Oh no! So you see a 6327 here in the front. Mine doesn't have that anymore. I accidentally rubbed it off when I was uh, testing the stone. Um, his stones, um, <laughs> the stamp on his image is much darker, but mine is almost completely faded away. That was. The condition that I received it, it's so faint. But fortunately, because these two are obviously are from the same seller, we can safely deduce that this is in fact the same stamp as that. And this the same as that. It's very faint, but you can see it. But the number stamp is still on. But apart from that, everything pretty straightforward. The seller uses a numbering system. This is 6327. Same stamp here as here, here, and in the back, there's one more 6327. Okay, this one, much more straightforward. Yamashiro something. Um, if anybody actually wants to know what they read, I can find that out for us. But if not, I'm not going to waste my time uh, digging that out. That's a little too hardcore for me. It takes me a long time to do translations. I'm just not good at Japanese. And there is no stamp in the back. This is... Uh, 6347. No stamp. Oh, wait. Is that a stamp? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Now, this stone comes from the same seller, but it does not have the stamps apart from this numbering, uh, this number stamp. Um, it has his handwriting. Come on. Okay. It has his handwriting, but apart from that, it does not have those stamps that we just saw so it really begs the question why stamps on some stones and some not and at this point I need to divulge the fact that these stones this one two three four 
These four stones actually come from the controversial seller known as dun 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 three three zero mate. Now I don't get what the controversy is all about. Um, I've bought many stones from him. Most are under five hundred US. Some, like this one, is over five hundred US, and um, they all work to the extent that I think their money is worth. Um, this one, for example, is this one generates extra black mud. It grabs onto the steel despite how fine it is. Um, so this one is a really nice one, but his other ones, they, they're, they're, they are similar quality to stones that are sold at the price from other sellers. So with all that said, I just don't get what the controversy around him is about. But I will say that I'm not stupid in the, uh, also. Um, if it's known that some people believe that stamps, stamped stones are worth more, then why wouldn't he put stamps on all of his stones? So this kind of suggests that maybe he gotten, maybe he got into tr some sort of trouble or he received criticism for using these stamps. Um, in Japan, these sort of things uh, sort of get really sensitive really fast, from what I understand. So, so in regards to why stamps on some stones and some not, I'm just going to leave it at that. This is the final stone. It has his handwriting and a date. I think that's. It. I think it's the date that he dug this stone. That's probably it. And this one has a label of its dimensions and weight. And the uh, 601 is probably 6011 is probably the uh, number that he put on the stone. And lastly, this one I got from Tanaka Toishi Kyogyo Kogyo Sho uh, through Kenneth Shorts. It's a give me a second, sorry. This one is the cream of the crop. My goodness, it's perfectly blockular. You don't see any, you know, chipped off or not chipped off, but irregular shaped like that. This one, this one is a really good one. It's, uh, I paid a lot of money for it. Um, more than 500, definitely. Um, all the corners are perfect and even the back Even the back, it's almost almost flat. Apart from this small spot here, there's the stamp, Tanaka Toishi, Kyoto. This is the front. This is um, Nakayama something. <laughs> Again, anybody, if anybody wants me to dig out what they actually read, I can find out. It just takes me a long time. And one more stamp here under the lacquer. Okay, so that's it. Stamps and stamps. Um, do they mean anything? Let us know down below. Um, sorry that this video is probably really boring. Um, I'll try to get some more entertaining content out sometime in the future. I can't say when, but hopefully sometime in the future. Um, apart from that, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. I'll try to get through, uh, get to them. And uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.